Hello, hello, Amira Alvarez here, founder and CEO of The Unstoppable Woman. Okay, today's sweaty Facebook Live is coming at you talking about commitment and what the biggest thing is that you can commit to. So in this commitment challenge, you have picked one thing that you, like a block that you have that you want to bust through. And you're staying with it, sticking with it for 30 days to build that commitment muscle, to build trust in yourself that you, you will do what you said you would do kind of thing. Now, of course, there's always discernment, right? In, in business, like you have to decide what are the non-negotiables and what are the things that I can course correct on, okay? So in this commitment challenge, we're not using that. We're not using the I can course correct and have discernment here. We're using the thing that we, we are saying is non-negotiable and we're committed to. So, so keep that in mind, okay? Now, as you continue through life and business, you will need to continue to grow. If you're not growing, you're dying. So the biggest thing that you can commit to is your own personal growth. It's the best investment that you can make in yourself. You can do this for yourself and you can get help doing this. Okay, so what does it look like to do it for yourself? Well, one of the things that I am constantly, consistently, rigorously checking in with myself on is, could I have bettered my best here? Could I have done better? Like on this run, I'm thinking, well, if I want to raise my speed and, you know, run X number of miles, I need to better my best. Okay, well, how could I do that in this situation? Well, I could start running faster, like I've been running a little bit faster towards the end of my run, you know, like home stretch. Well, I could start that earlier. That's bettering my best. But I'm, the, the, the takeaway here is that I'm asking the question. And I'm consistently asking the question. You know, I'm looking at my marketing. I'm looking at my uh, sales conversations. I'm looking at um, my, my own coaching. After a coaching call, could I have bettered my best? Yes, absolutely. And I make a little note to myself. I could do this different. I could do this different. Now, you have to ask yourself, what happens when you stop asking that question? Or you think you're done. Or you think you should stop. Okay, you've done some sort of program, maybe you've done this commitment challenge, maybe you've taken a course someplace, and you're like, okay, I'm done, that's the end, I've completed that. Well, guess what? That's not how it works in life. That's how it works in school, and that's how we were trained. Okay, we were trained to take the test. We were trained to finish the course. We were trained to read the book and do the book report, and that was what was done was. We weren't trained to continuously go for more. And so it's not done. You have to consistently go to the next level and ask for more. Okay? Ask for more. If you haven't done everything, dotted all the I's, crossed the T's, is you have to use your discernment. Is the best thing for you to do go back and, and fix that? Sometimes it is. Absolutely. But oftentimes it's a stalling technique because what you really need to do is to continue to grow, to continue to move forward, continue to get more help on your mindset, to continue to get help on the actions you need to take. Continue to ask the question internally, what could I do differently? Look at your results, okay? Now, then you have to ask, why might you not be in growth right now? Why might you be pushing away your desire to step into more? The answer is fear, and it's always fear. Fear of disappointment, fear of having hard conversations, fear of abandonment, right? The hard conversations, maybe I'll be rejected and abandoned. Fear of success, fear of disappointment, fear of any kind of pain I might suffer, or you might suffer. There's all sorts of fears. Fears of vis visibility. We're doing the visibility challenge in a, just a little bit. Okay, starts Monday, July 1st, sign up, put the link in the, the comments. But you got to ask yourself, if you're not stepping into more, and you're not stepping into more rapidly, and you're not saying yes to yourself, and making a quick decision towards more, and asking yourself, okay, can I better my best? Can I go for more? Then you're not in that level of growth that you need to be to get your extraordinary life. It's not to say, like in my boot camp, we have a process of celebrating our wins because we get success dysmorphia. We don't recognize how far we've come. 
okay? But that's fine. Celebrate your wins, celebrate your successes, but always be going for more. Not as a way to disparage yourself, but as a commitment to growth. Because that commitment, that persistent commitment to growth, consistently saying yes to yourself and going for more, is what's going to lead you to an extraordinary life where you look and you pinch yourself and you go, wow, I created this. This is amazing. Okay. With that, rock it out. Have an awesome Saturday or whenever you're watching this. And uh, I'll see you in the visibility challenge and keep your commitment. Okay. Awesome. Bye.